Hi YouTube! So I know it's been a while, but I am back. I've just had a really rough June. I'm doing um, just a hair do-it-yourself. A lot of people ask me like, oh, do you go to the hair salon? Your hair is always done. And I'm like, no, I do it myself. And I love like doing everything myself and just beautifying myself. I mean, there's no better feeling than being pampered and having somebody scrub your head. Whatever, point is, I just do it myself, save myself like a good 40 bucks. And I can just do my hair whenever I want. When I get bored, I don't have to, you know, check my bank account and see if I can afford to switch it up. So, this is going to be how I go and just do my hair. In this video, I'm not going to show you how I wash my hair. I wash my hair in the shower. I wash and condition it and maybe treatment sometimes. I actually didn't treatment it this time. But with my motion shampoo conditioner, alcohol free. And it just makes all the difference. It doesn't dry your hair out. I use this um, leave-in conditioner. Now, you can't actually buy this little bottle in the store. This is actually what I do is I save the leave-in conditioners when I get a relaxer because I don't use the whole thing on my head. So I have like a, like a bunch of these little bottles that I just save. I put some on my hair, you know, mostly on my real hair. I try not to um, cause buildup on... Um, my extensions and then what I do is I will show you right behind me I sit under I have to look in the viewfinder this is this is a hot and gold just standing dryer I went and I bought it at my beauty supply store here at adjust it's so awesome for doing your hair at home I sit under this bad boy for about um, 40 minutes and after that where the video starts um, this video that I'm doing right now starts is just me what I do after that um, to get these like waves that I have I use my how do you pronounce Taish? my Taish wand I wanted a wand really bad and I had no patience so I just went to my beauty supply store and this is what they have they had um, it was really cheap it was like 16 bucks you're gonna need a flat iron to do your roots um, to get them nice and straight. You don't flat iron your whole head, just your roots. And this is a Chi Air. Got it for Target for 100 bucks. It was like $99.99. And this is awesome. I mean, the only annoying thing about this flat iron is, like, if you set it down, like, with this part down, it, the setting changes. And that's, like, then it's cold and you're like, that's super annoying. Also, what you're going to need, and this is also Taish, Taishi? Taish. Can't really, I don't know. A blow dryer, and this is um, 1200 12, It's either 1200 or 1500 1200 or 1500 watts, and um, and this is really high wattage. And I wanted that because it's close to the. It looks like a beauty salon um, blow dryer, and it actually really blows my, my hair really well. But you got to be careful using like professional like strong blow dryers like that because a they can blow your fuse in your house I've done that once or twice and then two like it's really really hot like on your roots like I literally for a fraction of a second blow my roots out and then you move on and then yeah so that's really what you're gonna need you're gonna need a, a wide tooth comb and a small tooth comb and a brush whatever you blow your hair out with and yeah if you want to see how I go from a hot mess to these nice waves then just keep watching Ugh. okay let's get started the first thing that we're going to be doing is taking this icy carrot growth serum it's also heat protectant it's just so that we don't damage our real hair and also we don't want to damage our extensions place it all over your hair and don't forget to get your roots next we're going to be blowing out our edges I like to blow my edges out because I want my roots to be really straight so just anywhere you have your natural leave out blow out don't forget to get all of your edges including the back and definitely the sides and you want to just blow it out the way you would blow your real hair out whether you had extensions or you didn't have extensions I also like to just uh, dry underneath where all the braids are because sometimes the big jar doesn't dry them completely so just double check that now I'm just gonna be detangling my hair with the wide tooth comb sometimes the blow dryer makes it all tangly and if any of you are wondering how the hair I did my review on is holding up this is the same hair 
I just had a little bit of shedding, a few strands here and there, but nothing too crazy. Now with my flat iron, I like to straighten all my leave out just so that, you know, my hair isn't curly at the roots. And what I do is I start at my sides and I also do the back of my head first. And then as you can see, I sectioned off the top of my hair to do separately. Now for the top of my head, if you look closely, I'm going to section it into three parts and just uh, put your hair where your hair would naturally fall when you do your hair so that when you straighten it, it's in the direction that it would go when you're all finished. And then I just do the top and then I section my hair in half and do the left and the right side. Now your leave out should be all straight um, and you don't have to worry about it blending with the hair because we're just going to blend it in when we curl it. Now including my leave out, I'm going to section my hair into three major parts, uh, front left and then front right and then my back section is just one huge section and I just do it this way because the way that my tracks are laid, it's just easier for me. Okay, so now we're going to take the back section, the biggest section, and we're going to get started with that. What I do is I take a line starting at the bottom and just work my way up. And for every line that I do, I section it from a, a left side and a right side. I bring it to the front. We're going to brush out every part that we do right before we curl it. And when we get started, we are going to break a piece off. You're going to take your wand, and I like to roll my hair backwards onto the wand. And that I do mostly in my back pieces until I get to the very top. And some people like to rotate um, their curl from either rolling it frontwards or rolling it backwards. But I just, you know, like to stick to one direction so that they don't get all tangly. And then when I get to the top, I'll show you what I do when I roll it forward. I'm going to be singing a lot throughout this video. I, um, I hold my hair for about 10 seconds and I let it drop. It looks a little curly now. But when I keep going, it just loosens out into these really nice waves. I'm going through it really quick, but um, you're just going to keep doing the same thing, breaking it up into a left and a right section, rolling it onto the wand and working your way up, breaking it up line by line, and then sectioning it off in half, but I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit. But as you can see, they're loosening up and becoming more wavy. Now in this back section, I like to roll my hair forward onto the wand, just so that I make sure I don't get those like awkward sticking um, pieces out in the back when you do curls. And to just um, make sure that your leave out blends a little more seamlessly with your extensions. section of our hair we're gonna part it in two we're gonna take a really thin line in the front of our head and that's gonna be that piece of your bang that kind of goes backwards we want to separate that from the rest of our hair and we're gonna curl that separately and then you're gonna take that big chunk and kind of break it up into smaller pieces and then I'm gonna roll it onto the wand backwards so that you get kind of that flowy Kardashian bang kind of wave going on you want to take those clips out and what we're gonna do is we're gonna brush our hair backwards not quite parallel to the top of our head but more like a 45 degree angle and you want to um, roll it backwards onto the wand at that 45 degree angle I have a lot of flyaways so what I do is after I get whatever hair I can onto the wand I just like to go back and grab maybe like my real hair that's sticking out 
and just do the same thing over again until I get it all in the same direction. Then what I do is I take a brush and I cover up all of my leave out or anything that just, you know, looks a little out of place and then play with it a little bit, you know, get those edges and everything to blend in with your extensions and that's it. And then to really get that salon shine, I use olive oil, sheen spray, and then the icy shine spray, and that just gives it that finishing touch. You can use hardening spray if you like, but I really don't like to use it only because it contains alcohol. Other than that, play around with it and enjoy these fabulous new curls.